Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a part four to the Christmas 2020 Decorate With Me series, putting up some garland, doing the front porch. I'm so excited to share this one with you guys because it turned out so good. So for all of the Christmas decoration, inspiration, and motivation, just keep on watching. All right, you guys, like I said, we are doing the front porch and some garland in today's video. I finally snagged some fresh garland from Costco. You get 25 feet for $18.99. It was such a good deal, and it literally got me like everything that I needed across the entire house. I used some out on the front porch, I used some in the living room, and I also used some in the dining room and a little bit in the kitchen. So it lasted me for everything that I needed. So I'm just doing a little bit of the front porch here. I am going to have a put up Christmas lights with me video to show you guys what I'm doing for Christmas lights this year. We literally bought Christmas lights the year we moved into the house and we've never put them up. So this year is the year I'm going to get up on the ladder. I am going to put up the Christmas lights. So here's a sneak peek to our front porch for the season. Um, I need to redo my front door just because there are scratches all over it from the dogs that did not hold up against the dogs. Um, so I need to do like a really good protective layer over it. And then I also need to wash that window. My dogs just destroy it. And it is always windy where I live. I live in Minnesota and the area that I live in is just always windy. So there's always like dust being kicked up and it's always freezing. And when I do these front porch decorate with me videos, most of the time my camera gets knocked over and it is not a good thing. So everything that I have, the little trees are from Wayfair. I love these um, and they are pre-lit. I've had them for a few years now and the lights have not gone out on them yet. Um, and then my bulbs, I think I got from like Mills Fleet Farm like 10 years ago. I've had them forever, um, but I love them because they have the built-in clips right onto the bulbs and I just like tuck them into the siding. So when I'm doing my Christmas, lights I like there's like the um, the white setting around the door and the lights just tuck right into it and then the extension cord that I wrap around from like the front of the porch I can even like tuck that in to the um, I believe it's called like J channel um, all the way around the house it's super nice because it hides the cord and you can't even see it so anyways that is what I'm doing here in this video and I will pop back in in a little bit
So in this portion of the video, I was attempting to put some garland on the table um, and then I came to my senses and realized that it's going to be such a mess. Fresh garland is beautiful, but it makes a mess. It gets all over the place. So I decided to not put it on the dining room table because it's just going to shed everywhere and the kids are going to go, like the kids will get into it. It's just not worth it. It looks gorgeous, but like I said, just not worth it. So here I'm kind of messing with the garland on the table and then I quickly decide to take it off um, and then I move it over to the mantle. Now my suggestion with the fresh garland, because it all goes one direction, so it's not going to lay nicely. It'll lay nicely on one side of like once you get it hung up, but the other side will just kind of like hang there. It just, it'll look goofy. Um, so what I like to do is I like to separate the garland. I will cut it and then I will turn some of the branches around so that the ends match. And you'll see me do this here on the mantle and you'll also see me do this over the curtain rod in the dining room. And like I said, ooh, look at me catch that wreath. <laughs> um, that scared the crap out of me when I was um, putting this garland up. But anyway, um, that is like my, my trick for you guys. And also um, so that the branches on the garland as well, like to stick up. So I kind of braid them in so that they lay the way I want them to lay. And I did this on the front porch a little bit. And I also do it on the mantle garland and also on the garland above the um, dining room window. So just braid them in so they all kind of lay the same way. Um, and then in the end, I promise you it will pay off. It's a little bit more work, um, but everything looks so nice. I'm going to pop back in here in a minute um, because there are a couple more details I wanted to share in regards to the garland. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying this Christmas decorate with me. This was exactly the garland that I was looking for, for this like Nordic inspired boho Christmas feel. I am loving the way that everything came together this year.
Okay, so here I am adding a little bit to the faux garland that hangs around my sink. Now the reason why I did this is because this is a this is a Costco faux garland that I picked up a couple of years ago and it's mostly a pine mixture and I wanted all of the garlands to blend together so I just added a little bit of that cedar to give it the same texture as the mantle and the same texture as the garland that's above the dining room sliding glass door just because it is all in the same like main living space and I wanted it to look seamless. So that is why I'm adding a few of the cedar branches to the faux garland here. And it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. I am just adding some twinkle lights to the garland. You guys know that I'm obsessed with twinkle lights and I love to put them all over the house. So I get all of my twinkle lights from Target because they're like $5 for a strand and they last forever. Um, and I also have mine on a timer. So anyways, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for this part four final decorate with me for Christmas 2020. I hope you guys have enjoyed this decorate with me series for Christmas this year. The last one to come out is going to be a put up the Christmas lights with me video. So I will see you guys tomorrow for a day in the life video. Okay. Bye you guys.